Yo, what's happening, people? I haven't done a video in a while. Waiting for these uh, females to lay their eggs so I could do a couple videos. Which, I know I said I wasn't going to do a lot of egg pulling videos this year, but I got a ton of newbies that subscribed that are requesting I do uh, videos of everything. So, um, I'll do a short little video here of a closet that I just uh, turned over into a... Uh, I guess a holding bin for my holdbacks. Found some, found some old racks laying around, so put them in here. I think I'm going to use this as my uh, holdbacks. Um, but anyway, let's let's do this. Here we go. Did a lot of banana stuff this year, and of course, going to hold. Look at that fair now. You guys that know me know I'm an aspiring hand model too. But anyway, um, well, this isn't a banana. What we got here is a. Hold on a second, let me get around. Get around. That there is a Candino. I got a male Candino in a trade, which was never really into the Candinos. Um, but ended up digging that guy so much that I picked up a female off a buddy of mine. So, there you go. That is a Candino female. Alright, let's go moving up here. That there is a male banana, but it's 100% head for pie bowl. I produced two of those last year. Um, kept one and actually gave one to one of my buddies so that, uh, you know, it stayed in our little circle here. So if anything happened to one of them, we got a backup. But, uh, there you go. That is a male banana head for pie bulb. I'm going to try to whiz through this because the camera's back. up. Here we have... Damn. He wanted a close-up there. But anyway, what we got here is a banana pewter. I actually produced two of those too last year. I um, was actually just shooting for a banana cinnamon, but ended up with a pewter, so figured I'd hold him back. That's another male. Like I said, a lot of banana stuff. One thing I was shooting for that I ended up getting a pair of last year or this past breeding, was um, banana calicos. And I actually ended up with a pair, a male and a female. This guy here is in a shed, so not, not real bright looking right now. So, yeah, banana calico. Actually, that's a male there. is a female here. Yeah, that white keeps getting whiter, you know, as, as they get bigger. It's pretty cool looking. And you're going to see, uh, like, the difference in sizes, man. Somebody's really eating like a pig, other ones not. Here's a girl that turned out really cool. This is, and I'm hoping this video is going good. Like I said, it was acting up. This is a Firefly Enchi female. Here, let's get your tail out. So bright as hell. What do we got here? Oh, this is just a uh, banana. Again, uh, this is a female banana that I held back. Nothing special. Like I said, I'm holding on to things I like. Let's 
so you won't, again, won't be seeing the world's first here. One second, let me step up here. What do we got in here? Look at that, just changed it and somebody took a shit off. Okay, so this is a pastel clown that I produced last year. Once again, last breeding. Um, any of you guys that follow my videos, uh, this is the one I had three, actually four eggs. She was a young female, not young, but very light, but uh, decided to try to breed her. She was four years old, four or five years old, so um, this is the sole survival, survivor out of that clutch, so held her back. Here we have a vanilla cream, which is designed to be a picky eater. So, come on, you focus. So obviously she's not as uh, big as the other ones, but hopefully she takes off and starts eating again. Female vanilla cream. Let me step up here. All right, here we have a killer bee caligo. Oh boy, there goes the camera, screwing up. But uh, 